Breaking news! Old dinosaur becomes new dinosaur. Originally discovered in 1916 and described in 1935 as a specimen of Critosaurus, a type of hadrosaurid, this specimen has been re-examined and assigned a new genus and species. Meet a Schislosaurus Wimani from the late Cretaceous New Mexico. It comes from rocks older than Critosaurus. The identity of this specimen has been contentious for the last 30 plus years. Even though it's not a Critosaurus, it is very closely related and placed in the tribe of Critosaurini. Ashislosaurus, along with Naashiobitosaurus, Gryposaurus, and one other unnamed Sorolophene, potentially form their own clade of flat-headed Sorolophene hadrosaurids. The Ashislosaurus holotype skeleton is big, at around 11 meters. The fossil was pretty complete and had various unique traits. The front of the lower jaw is very thick. Imagine a hadrosaurid with a big chin. Other Sorolophene lower jaws are narrow towards the front. Only the back of the skull was found, but it looks pretty similar to other Critosaurians. It doesn't have any big fancy crests, but it very likely has a small bump on the snout in front of the eyes, similar to other Critosaurian. This discovery of a Schislosaurus adds to the diversity of Sorolophene dinosaurs in New Mexico. Until now, most of the hadrosaurid fossils came from the northern part of the United States and Canada. It looks like the evolution and spread of hadrosaurids in the western interior basin occurred much more rapidly and earlier than previously thought. The Critosaurini started in the southern part of Laramidia and slowly spread north, eventually replacing the Brachylophosaurine. They were thriving in this region, evolving into many distinct species. I'll be back with more discoveries when they are announced. Until next time, this is the Illiterate Scholar bringing you the latest news 66 million years late.